Hello, I'm Kevin Day, and I'm delighted to be hosting a brand new podcast called The Price of Football. It's all about the dirty, tricky world of football finances. I'll be joined by the wonderful Kieran Maguire. Hello, Kieran. Hello. Would you like briefly to tell people how you know so much about these things? Um, I'm, uh, I'm a lecturer at the University of Liverpool, and, and I teach football finance as a subject, which as far as being a qualified chartered accountant is concerned, is probably the dream job in that I don't have to talk anything about accounting and talk an awful lot about football. I don't think we could be further away in terms of careers, really. Stand-up comedian, writer, broadcaster, lurching each week from one financial crisis to another like most self-employed people, and you, a chartered accountant with a dream. I think it's always good to be a chartered accountant with a dream. Uh, it's, and always nice to be sitting opposite somebody who knows a bit about finances and sensible finances i am the most romantic person about football in the world probably my view of football and its place in working class culture is hopelessly over romantic if anything now i'm slightly worried that i'm going to be upset by some of the things that you tell me about finances in football because it's it's not just players i'm like i'm i'm one of those people i'm an expert in the pub of course i before each palace game i will stand in the corner you want to know about law i'll tell you about law you want to know about football finances you come to kevin day you actually know about these things. Am I going to be horrified by what you tell me? Am I going to be relieved? What is the state of finances in football? And that's, and that's a ridiculously broad question, I realise that, but you know, this is a, a trailer, so you don't have to answer it in general because we want people to listen to it. But Well, 62 out of what we have now, nine, now 91 clubs in English professional football are losing money. We'll be talking about the missing one club in detail on a, the pod coming up. 62 are losing money. And uh, that's probably going to get worse uh, in this season. Uh, there are there are other leagues available. Sorry to interrupt you. It will become part of the podcast, so you might as well get used to it in the trailer. There are other leagues available. Of that 62, how many are in the Premier League? Um, I think we've got eight in the Premier League. Who eight Premier League clubs are losing money. And uh, there's... There's a lot of money coming into football, but as, uh, as Sir Alan Sugar once said, we've got the prune juice effect. We've got an awful lot of money going out of football just as quickly. Yeah. Um, and ideally, football finance shouldn't exist. I shouldn't have a job. We shouldn't be having this conversation because I go to football for the same reason as you, which is to see my mates in the pub beforehand, to scream and shout for 90 minutes and to abuse referees. Yeah, as my wife describes it, talking the same nonsense to the same blokes in the same seat, in the same corner, in the same pub for years. That's what it's all about, basically. Um, we are having the conversation. We shouldn't be having it, but we are going to have it. We're going to have it on a weekly basis here on the Price of Football podcast. But we also want to hear from you, because I think as weeks go by, we'll be driven by questions from our listeners who want to know about their own club, but also about the state of football in general. Already, in a two-minute trailer, you've astonished me twice with football finance facts. That's going to be a theme as well, I think. So if you do want to get in touch with us, it's questions at thepriceoffootball.com. We look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to hearing more from you as the weeks go by, Kieran. And um, occasionally we'll slip in just a bit of joyous football news, but mainly it's going to be football finances. And on this very first episode, Kieran will be explaining in some detail what happened to Berry and how we stop it happening again. Looking forward to it.